Hey everyone, and welcome to another high request round of phone battles featuring the best ones from Google and Samsung, the Google Pixel XL, and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So the Pixel line, of course, is brand new. Whereas on the Galaxy line, this is arguably the most popular line in the world, uh, and it is on its eighth iteration. I think Google has always been a little wary of Samsung. Uh, I think they always feel that Samsung is eventually going to leave Android system. Um, obviously that's all just speculation, but I think that's kind of why they want to get involved with the hardware with the Google Pixel. And you guys see, uh, Samsung first on the boot up. Of course, Google does make Android, so they have a very strong interest in that. Alright everyone, so quick look at design of the phones. So on the Google Pixel, you have 5.5 inch screen versus 6.2 on the Samsung. So Samsung nearly bezel-less, beautiful design on this. Now the Pixel is still a nice design, but I feel a little bit older, um, and that's both literally and figuratively. Now in terms of front-facing camera, it made a Pixel front-facing camera on both. The bottom, we got USB-C on both. The side, the top, both phones do have headphone jacks, and the other side. And then look at the back. So personally, I do prefer design on the Samsung. Uh, you do have all glass back and no carrier logos this year really nice feature usually they're kind of quite a bit Verizon logos or whatever but this year not and on the Google Pixel so you have metal and glass so glass right here metal right here and both phones rear facing 12 megapixel cameras also both fingerprint scanners are on the back so Google right here and Samsung right here. Now, personally, I don't like the fingerprint scanners on either one, although of the two, I do prefer Google um, because it is much easier to access and you don't have to worry about accidentally uh, pressing on the camera lens like you do with the Galaxy. So, especially if you're right handed, extremely easy to, so, you know, you have to reach over the lens, so very easy to touch that. All right, guys, so let's go get started. All right, everyone, so all the apps close on both. Let's get started with Tempronto. So should be an advantage for Galaxy here with the Snapdragon 835 and 4 bytes RAM. And you see it is. With the Pixel, Snapdragon 821 and 4 bytes RAM as well. NBC News next. Alright, so both still refreshing this app always takes a long time. So guys, with these phones, uh, or with these companies in general, it's pretty interesting because I think both are kind of rivals uh, as well as uh, allies at the same time. As you guys see here, Samsung. I funny next. Now in terms of hardware, I do prefer Samsung, uh, but in terms of software, definitely Google. As you guys saw there, Google Pixel. YouTube next. Samsung Air. Yeah, really not a big fan of Samsung's hardware. Um, stuff like Google Assistant, for example, much prefer it to stuff like Bixby. But Samsung's hardware, on the other hand, is excellent. But that's the good thing about Samsung phones, you do have the option, so either one. All right, eBay next. Pixel there. As for eight. So this one should go to Galaxy Bowl C. Yep, Galaxy up. And a few more, and then we'll do some camera speed, uh, some benchmarks, some uh, web browsing, multitasking, and also test the thing with scanners. All right, photos. So Google there and is Google app. Uh, let's do ESPN next. All right, ESPN. All right, that was extremely close in terms of rolling up the last ad. Settings. 
uh, missed it, so I'll write a comment down below. And then here's that Intuit benchmark. All right, guys, here's what we're getting to do. So 168,000 for Samsung, that's the highest you see for any Android phone. And then 144,000 per pixel. All right, so let's do Chrome next. All right, everyone, just create out the web history on both. Let's do INV.com first. All right, so it looks like advantage there for Samsung. Let's do NBC next. Actually, we'll do MSNBC and then do Fox. MSNBC. Uh, let's click right here on MSN. All right, so that one going to the pixel. And then let's do, I guess, one or two more. Last one, let's do Fox News, just to balance out MSNBC. All right, so looking like advantage here for the Samsung. All right, next up, guys, let's do Fingerprint Scanner. So again, both are on the back, on the Samsung right here, on Google right here. And we're just gonna be testing out the speed regardless of whether I like the fingerprint scan location or not. Yeah, um, so I think a little bit mixed here. No, actually I think Pixel probably by a little bit, a little bit faster. Yeah, Pixel is fast here for the fingerprint scanner. All right, guys, so next up, we got camera speed. We got this nice cactus here in focus. We're trying to get in focus anyways. All right, so you guys let me know in the comments. I don't think much of a difference. Now guys, in the future, we'll have a comparison of the actual quality of the pictures and the videos. All right, and last, let's round off the specs. So 5.5 in screen on the Pixel, 6.2 in the Galaxy. Uh, both same megapixels in terms of front and rear, eight and 12. Uh, 32 or 128 gigabytes for the Pixel internal storage. For the Galaxy, 64. Now the Galaxy doesn't micro SD card support, Pixel is not. Uh, 3450 capacity battery for the Pixel. Uh, 3500 for the Samsung, so great battery on both. Snapdragon 21 and 40 bits RAM for the Pixel. Snapdragon 835 and 4 for the Samsung. Now, the Samsung is waterproof, Pixel is not. Both USB C, both fingerprint scanners, and basic covers it. Alright, guys, so let's get started with Dump Run 2 first. Alright, so interesting. Now, normally this app does not reload. It looks like this time it is on both, but this is typically an app that does not reload on the Samsung. Um, I guess on the Pixel it does, uh, more, I would say more often this does need to be rolled on the Pixel, but, to, uh, sometimes it doesn't. Let's go ahead and test out some more. Alright, MSU News next. Alright, so Samsung there. Hi, funny. Again, Samsung there. You do? All right, so Pixel here. And here's one of my Samsung Galaxy A Plus videos you guys want to check out. And that is versus HTC 10. All right, a few more. Let's see eBay next. All right, so Pixel there. And just a couple more. Let's do our other game, let's do Asphalt 8. 
All right, so yeah, this is an example where I'm Samsung not reloading it on the Galaxy it is. And those are very typical results. Don't think I've ever seen a Galaxy reload this game. All right, we're gonna do two more and I'll wrap it up. So Chrome, Pixel, or rather uh, Galaxy. And last one was the camera. All right, so I think that may have been Pixel. Um, overall for the web browsing, slight advantage there for the Galaxy. All right, everyone, so my final thoughts. Now, first, personally speaking, I do with both these companies. Uh, they're definitely my top five for all the companies out there, but obviously they're both going for pretty different things. Now, in terms of hardware, I do prefer the Galaxy phones, um, and that is because you're getting excellent screens on them, you're getting waterproofing, you're getting micro SD card support. Um, now, the Pixel, obviously, is just a first attempt, so there will be future iterations. However, on the Pixel, of course, you do have advantages. Uh, for example, this is the first phone at Google Assistant, which I love. Uh, as I mentioned, do I give up more Bixby? But of course, Samsung phones eventually did get Assistant as well. Uh, so you do have the option Samsung. Just with stuff like that and with Android updates, just going to wait a little bit longer for Samsung phones. So in terms of speed testing, it was pretty close. Uh, but I do think slight advantage here for the Galaxy. Uh, I just think it won a little bit more, but overall, again, very close. And keep in mind, guys, with the Google Pixel, it is around half a year old at this point. Um, so I'm sure around six months from now, we're going to be getting Google Pixel 2. Uh, hopefully it will be waterproof, probably about the Snapdragon 35 or even a better processor than that. Regardless, I think the winner is Galaxy, but there are a lot more testing to do between the two phones. Uh, stuff like the camera test, the battery life test, and all that. So if you want to see those in the future, you can subscribe in the top left corner. Or you can watch another video right now in the bottom right. Alright everyone, thanks again for watching.